Blind Lady Diane here. Welcome back to my Christmas Advent calendar and today I'm answering some more of your questions. Now two things seem to um, stand out for me. Uh, one of the questions was about zone cleaning and the daily missions, how we get it all fitted in when we're working outside the home. We've got a lot to do. Uh, and also about the basic weekly plan. Can we change it around? Um, can we do our own thing? So let me take those one by one. Zone cleaning. We split up the house into zones so that we are cleaning the house a quick little clean, um, getting things together. That is called the weekly home blessing and that happens once a week. We're not cleaning the whole house uh, once a week. We are just taking the main areas. Now, weekly home blessing, you can do it uh, in Fly Lady Land, it's on a Monday, but you choose a day that suits you. It can be on a Saturday. I have lots of ladies that do it on a Saturday morning. It shouldn't take more than an hour, and if you're doing it regularly, you can get it done in a lot less than an hour, especially if you have help from your family, uh, husband, significant other, the kids, they can all join in. Now, we also have something called zone cleaning and the daily missions. The house is split up into zones because we're not cleaning the whole house every week, every day. It doesn't work like that. Nobody's got time to clean the house from morning to evening and there's no need to be cleaning your house from morning to evening every day. We do a little upkeep once a week called the weekly home blessing and then during the week you'll see if you've got the fly lady uh, plus app or the if you're getting emails from the fly lady website you will see that there is a daily mission and the daily mission will be in that week's zone so for example this week we are in zone four which is the master bedroom and if you have a bathroom um, with your master bedroom that's also included and your wardrobe, walk-in closet, wherever you keep your clothes. This week you will see missions to do things in the master bedroom. So that could be things like uh, cleaning underneath your bed. Are there any things, items underneath your bed that shouldn't be there? Or it could be um, hoovering underneath the bed, vacuuming underneath the bed, because we don't have to vacuum underneath the bed every day or every week. Once a month is fine. If you want to do it more often than that and you've got time, then go ahead. But then you probably don't need a fly lady in your life if you're so organized or so extreme about cleaning. Uh, the missions are extra upkeep for that particular room and because we work in the zones we hit all of those areas once a month. Now you can do it in two ways you can either fly, uh, follow the fly lady missions when you see those coming in set your timer you know you've got your trusty timer and the missions shouldn't take more than 10 to 15 minutes. A lot of them you can probably do in five minutes if you just Take your timer, focus, and go get it done. Now, me, I've always just gone along with the Fly Lady missions. I find it much easier to do things if you just tell me what to do. If I have to think about it myself, then I avoid it. But if I have the missions coming in and it says, go wipe off um, the top of your dresser, or go and uh, dust the windowsills, or go and wipe a, a, a mirror in your bedroom, that's much easier for me than having to think about it myself. Now, that's fine for me. I like doing the missions. I don't like doing the missions, but I do the missions. Otherwise, you can take the cleaning lists. There, there are cleaning lists on flylady.net and there are also cleaning lists on the Fly Lady Plus app. That's the free uh, app from Fly Lady Premium. It's called Fly Lady Plus and Every week you'll see it changing. There's a cleaning list of what you can do in the zone. Now, don't get all perfectionist on us. You don't need to cross off everything that's on that list. Just do what you can. 
because when I get questions about how do I fit everything in, we've got to drop that thinking and just say, what can I do? I've got 10 minutes today or I've got five minutes today. Let me do what I can. And that can be, you know, cleaning off windowsills. I mean, that takes literally two minutes. So we have the missions coming in. If you want to go how I do it, just by following the missions, do that. If you're more detail orientated and you like the lists, then look at the list and cross a few things off. If you don't get all of them done that week, it's not the end of the world because chances are if you've come to Fly Lady, you probably haven't done much cleaning for a long time and now suddenly you want to do everything. How do I know that? Because I was just the same. I wouldn't you know, clean a window in this house for like six years and then I got into Fly Lady and I thought, hey, I'd found it, the Holy Grail. I thought that was the answer to my, my prayers, uh, but then went too far and uh, got all perfectionist and wanted to do everything. And of course, crashed and burned. We don't that, want that for you. That's why I am a mentor here with Fly Lady Premium. Your mentor will help you to stop this perfectionism and just put you on the right path. Because you know what? We mentors, we've made all the mistakes that are possible. Yeah, we've been there, done that, got the t-shirt, crashed and burned, restarted, crashed and burned. And that's why we're trying to help you with Fly Lady, the system, because we know it works, um, but we're just uh, too hard on ourselves. We don't look after ourselves enough and we get too perfectionist. So back to the subject at hand. Uh, yeah, so we have zone cleaning or you can go through the detailed um, lists of cleaning. The, this also fits in nicely with the basic weekly plan. In Fly Lady, we have the basic weekly plan which means that we have set days for set things. Now you can either follow the Fly Ladies basic weekly plan. That's what I do because again, it's easier for me just to see the reminders coming in, to follow along instead of having to think for myself. It's much, much easier that way. So I follow the basic weekly plan. Now you can read all about the basic weekly plan on the Fly Lady uh, website, or if you have a mentor, she can explain it to you and tailor one to you. But one of the uh, questions that come up often is, can I change it around to suit me? Yes, change it around to suit you because the Fly Lady is, system is one size fits all. You tailor it to yourself, but be very careful because if you start tinkering with it too much and uh, getting too involved in the planning of things and, oh, let's get a new binder and I, I, I don't like the Fly Ladies cleaning list, so I'm going to print them out myself and make a new Excel arc and I'm going to do bullet journaling and I'm going to uh, buy five different coloured pencils so I can put... <gasps> you know what? If you hear yourself saying those words, you got to stop. Stop right there and say, how much am I, how much time am I spending on planning all this cleaning and organizing that I'm going to be doing instead of actually getting things done, instead of actually setting your timer and just doing it. So the basic weekly plan, um, we have weekly home blessing and yes, Feel free to do it on another day, but make sure you stick to that day and make it a regular thing because otherwise it won't become automatic. And when we don't do things regularly, it doesn't become a habit and then we just ignore it. So if you're gonna do your weekly home blessing on a Saturday, go ahead and write it down in your diary, put it on your um, routine list on the Fly Lady uh, Plus app, just make it happen, okay? Because an awful lot of, um, a lot of us, we tend to say, well, I'll just do that on another day that suits me. In reality, we're not actually intending to do it, we're just putting it off. And if that's you, we need to take a reality check and say, you know what? I'm just gonna go with the flow, gonna do what I can, and be done with it. 
because good enough is good enough. That's one of my favourite fly lady sayings. Good enough really is good enough. You don't have to do the most perfect weekly home blessing in the world. You don't have to do the most perfect zone cleaning. You just have to do a little bit and get it done because that's what's been holding all of us back. It's like kids with their homework. They don't need to hand in the very best homework every single day, every single assignment that they have. They've just got to set the timer, let them work on the homework, let them take breaks and get the job done and get it handed in and not be looking for perfect the whole time because you know what? Perfect doesn't exist. So that's me off my soapbox now. I better get down from my soapbox and get back to my, what I have to do today. It's Tuesday, which is plan and play. And I am going to be planning menus for the week. Um, if you can't plan a whole week's worth of menus, just plan two or three days um, ahead because we're coming up for Christmas. The grocery stores, the supermarkets, they're going to be chock-a-block. So try and get as much as you can planned and on your list for errand day. Uh, I'm also going to be planning some fun because it's called plan and play day. And unless we plan fun things, they're not going to happen. Uh, so I'm going to be planning some things to do in January when it's cold and dark and grey and Christmas is over and we're all feeling a bit in a slump. So I'm going to plan some things uh, with girlfriends because you've got to keep your girlfriends there on your radar. Don't forget about your girlfriends and your network. So Fly Lady Diane signing out. It's the 20th of December. Hope you have a great plan and play day and I shall be back tomorrow answering more of your questions. Thanks for joining me and see you soon.